Hello and welcome to the first of three videos in a mini-series on the functional deficits associated with cerebral territory strokes. In this video, we will be focusing on anterior cerebral artery strokes. To work out the likely symptoms, you first need to know the distribution of the artery in question, in this case the anterior cerebral artery, and secondly, know the function of the areas of the brain it supplies. We will begin by talking about the anatomy of the anterior cerebral artery. As you can see here, it arises from the most anterior part of the circle of Willis on the inferior aspect of the brain and is connected to the other anterior cerebral artery by the anterior communicating artery. If we then look at a mid-sagittal view, we can follow the artery further. It begins by travelling anteriorly and superiorly before continuing backwards immediately superior to the corpus callosum, giving off several branches as it does so. The artery itself predominantly supplies three important structures. The first is the prefrontal cortex, which can be seen here in blue. The functions of this area are collectively referred to as executive functions, which include personality, decision making, and planning and organising complex behaviours. The second area is the supplementary motor area, which can be seen here in purple. The exact function of this area is not well understood, but it is thought to be involved in the process of changing between motor activities and it also has a complex role in the production of speech. Within the supplementary motor area is an area called the micturition inhibitory area, which prevents urination. The third important area is the paracentral lobule, which can be seen here in green. The paracentral lobule contains parts of the primary motor and sensory cortex that corresponds to the contralateral lower limb. Now we can piece this information together to predict the symptoms from an anterior cerebral artery stroke. Firstly, infarction of the prefrontal cortex will cause executive dysfunction, which includes personality changes and difficulty in planning movement. Secondly, damage to the supplementary motor area can cause a range of speech abnormalities and urinary incontinence due to damage to the micturition inhibitory area. Damage to the paracentral lobule can cause sensory and motor disturbance of the contralateral lower limb, which may include hemiparesthesia and hemiparesis. So there you have it. The main symptoms of an anterior cerebral artery stroke are contralateral paralysis and paresthesia of the lower limb, urinary incontinence, executive dysfunction and speech abnormalities. Subscribe to Soton Brain Hub for more videos to help explain the mysteries of the brain.